Hello and welcome to the 50 Cent Tour of Thursday, September 19th, 2013. Please find a seat on the Liberty Bus and we will begin our tour of the day. Today I want to look at news articles but with a specific focus and that being how we expose ourselves and uh, exercise our own free will to allow for unpleasant things to be done to us. Are we tricked? Is it fraudulent? Sure. But in many cases we exercise our own free will to open the door to things that will harm us. And uh, Alex Jones this morning is talking extensively about the Washington, D.C. Navy Yard shooter. And the man was probably getting beamed uh, with extra low frequency waves and had worked on uh, advanced weaponry and probably knew about that. Maybe he had volunteered to be a part of an experiment. Who knows? But in our culture, we, we exercise our own free will to expose ourselves to many of these uh, dangerous forces. And some are, are more difficult than others to avoid, but some we have absolute control over and those are some of uh, what I want to focus on today. First, I, I want to Alex Jones mentioned this, so I looked it up, and sure enough, Disney Research Hub creates microphone that lets you transmit recordings to an ear via touch alone. Now, if you understand sound waves, this, this isn't. Uh, scientifically, this isn't really that far out there. But the idea is that somebody can make you hear a voice in your head. Uh, messages can be transmitted through solid objects into your skin, going to your inner ear, or your middle ear, whatever, and uh, being interpreted by your body as a sound. And I, I, lately I've been listening to a lot of Ian Clayton podcasts, and I mentioned that website the other day. Vibrations are really key, and Ian Clayton happens to be a Christian teacher, and a lot of metaphysical people I have been talking about vibrations for a long time. Sound waves are vibrations, and sound waves can change us. They can alter our uh, belief systems. They can. Uh, there's there's just a lot of power that typically we don't think about as we go through our ordinary lives and our day-to-day -day experiences. But I want to, in these areas that I'm mentioning today, I know most people watching this video are probably already aware, but I want to, if you're already aware, let this serve as a reminder. And I, I just I want to uh, reignite awareness of some of these issues. Television is uh, a huge gate that we often leave wide open for anything to wander through. Uh, and this is an activist post article, TV, Your Mind Controlled. And I found this just doing a search of uh, TV mind control. And this is a very good article. It's, it's actually from this August. It's from August of 2013. And I don't remember noticing it last month, but it's really just an excellent article and can serve as a reminder of why 
it's wise to elect uh, to do something with our time other than watch programmed television. And programmed, what an interesting word, right? Uh, just, just kind of an alternative follow-up to those two articles about uh, vibrations and being affected by waves. I found this interesting website. It's vibesup.com, a resource for vibrational education and tools. Uh, now, I certainly don't walk in lockstep in the belief system of the person who, who wrote this website or put this website together. But there are a lot of interesting ideas here, just reminders that virtually everything has a frequency at which it vibrates and those vib those frequencies interact with us our body also vibrates at different frequencies so when we know this we can uh, we can use it to improve our health and our frame of mind uh, if, if we don't actively use these resources, this knowledge, it's going to be used on us. So really today's today's tour is about uh, accepting responsibility for our lives and making the kind of choices that can help us to be more effective, healthy, happy human beings. I want to touch on water fluoridation and I'm, I don't obviously I don't have time today to discuss all of the assaults on us from evil forces uh, through our environment but I, I just have collected a few here and fluoridation is probably pretty close to the top of most people's lists of concerns if they're concerned about what's going on. So natural news here, I just did a search, natural news, uh, water fluoridation. So this is articles and information. There are a lot here. Uh, eight reasons why water fluoridation has failed modern civilization. History of Medicine, fact number eight, U.S. water fluoridation began in 1945 and continues today, despite the fact that the FDA has never approved it. How to fight water fluoridation in your city, and on and on and on. There are many articles here. And if you need an education on fluoridation, this is a good place to get it. And... If you don't know, there are many devices that will filter out uh, fluoridation in water. And Big Berkey is the one that comes to mind. Uh, but, but there are others too. Just, you know, this is, this is a choice you can make to filter your water in such a way as to remove the fluoridation. You can even go to supermarkets that have the... Uh, reverse osmosis machines and bottle some of your own water in some safe containers and go from there if you don't want to buy a filter. Next concern on the list today is uh, EMFs. Here's the EMF Safety Network website and this particular article is about uh, smart meter health complaints but this this EMF safety network also this website has safety tips about cell and cordless phones electrical sensitivity and suggests ways in which you can take action so it's a very informative website and if you're already aware of EMFs and you're already cautious then you probably can pass over this information, but if you are in a community where smart meters are being discussed, installed, uh, this is probably a good time for you to learn about them 
and learn how, why, A, you should not have one on your house, and B, how to prevent them from putting one on your house. So, hope you enjoy that. Exercise your free will there, your freedom of choice, and uh, just say, no, I, I don't want this threat to my health. Another natural news search that I did was um, natural news GMO articles. So here is a page of GMO news articles and information. And just in case you don't know very much about GMOs, this is a good place to begin. And how do you avoid GMOs? Well, uh, you buy organic food, you grow your own food, uh, you stop eating processed food that doesn't tell you whether it has GMOs in it or not. And this is not, it's not that difficult or that complicated, but you, you have to be determined. You have to make a conscious decision and, and stick to it. And virtually everything that is on the tour today has that in common. If you want to protect yourself and your family from some of these assaults, you, you, you can just by exercising your free will and making choices and decisions. But you have to be intentional about it. This is an older issue, but I decided to include it anyway because I think it's really important. Five reasons high fructose corn syrup will kill you. And this is from a website, drhyman.com. And I just found this in a search. I don't know the guy's politics or uh, what his other issues are, whether he embraces the liberty and truth movement. Um, I don't really care because, you know, he's. this is good information. And... Uh, yeah, he's here. I'm, I'm scrolling down to the last uh, reason high fructose corn syrup will kill you. It's because HFCS is almost always a marker of poor quality, nutrient poor, disease creating industrial food products or, quote, food like substances, end quote. Uh, your body doesn't recognize some of these things as food. They're so far from what would be found in nature that your body recognizes these things as toxins, not as food. And, you know, they might make you fat uh, as much because you, you have an immune reaction to them and you have inflammation from eating them as much as, you know, even calories derived from them, although often they are loaded with calories and simple sugars that will make you fat and overwhelm your liver and pancreas. Uh, I won't go on. <laughs> I don't want to make you sick just by talking about it. But again, this is an area of life where you can easily exercise your choice to avoid foods that contain high fructose corn syrup. Just read labels. Again, if you buy organic, you'll be pretty safe. Uh, now, for this one, I also did a, a natural news search, and it didn't turn up a handy little page uh, because I, I think I was maybe a little too vague or the subject is too broad. But um, I did a search for lifestyle disease natural news because there are a lot virtually all diseases are lifestyle diseases but specifically um, diabetes type 2 diabetes uh, ar arteriosclerosis um, many people believe Alzheimer's cancer uh, so here are a lot, if you do the search on start page, lifestyle disease, natural news, some of the articles are evidence that physical activity and lifestyle 
help regular physical activity and active lifestyles lower risk of developing Alzheimer's heart disease risks lowered by five lifestyle choices and on and on here if we feel powerless and overwhelmed we are more likely to give up and allow the bad guys to win right and by by making some of these lifestyle choices we can become stronger we can become smarter we can be more effective in our day-to-day -day lives and in our struggle for liberty uh, here's one more health issue that I wanted to address today that is vaccines and this website is the National Vaccine Information Center I'm sure most people who are watching this video are very aware of this website but I I did want to include it it, it offers suggestions if you have children this is especially important and it offers suggestions for uh, fighting against you know it's sad that you have to fight to uh, not have your children get a shot but fighting against let's say official insistence that you have your children vaccinated so hoping this website is helpful helpful and encouraging and I'm ending with this. This has less to do with health and more to do with law and common law and how, basically how we've been sold out as a nation and as a people by our government through the years. This website is I Withdraw My Consent and uh, this particular portion of the website that I it just happens that I, I put this together um, I tried to make complicated ideas very simple uh, the US government has made many commitments in your name uh, you are collateral the banks required collateral how you can how can you withdraw your consent uh, the government has um, basically traded all of us our lives as uh, commodities and this article explains some and you can find more if you do a search but the bottom line is uh, because the government did not fully disclose the terms of the agreement the contract entered into between Congress and the banks can't be enforced. It is fraudulent. Disclosure was not made. Fraud was committed. Your continued silence is consent. So you can withdraw your consent from the government's tyranny over you. And it requires some commitment and some learning. But people are doing it and our hope of course is to have our entire republic restored and have our nation restored but in the meantime we can look out for ourselves we can withdraw our consent from people and organizations and just generally things that want to harm us and we can make healthy choices for ourselves and our families and then longer term hopefully these enough people will make some of these changes that it'll hey I'm going to use the phrase raise our vibration <laughs> to a point where liberty is the experience of most people and that we all experience justice as well. The Daily Tour is a presentation of She Who Will Walk in the Dark Productions and we thank you for being with us on today's tour. The dawn is coming. Weeping Mandor for a night, but joy comes in the morning. 
hoping that you will love one another. Take care and insist on liberty.